Very warm, yeah, and pretty much yesterday rolled into today. I mean, it was like this in the morning. It wasn't quite as foggy, but, uh, you know, the mist, drizzle, same temperatures and everything, so... How was the uh, marathon? Uh, I was drenched. Looked like a wet rat at the end of the race. <laughs> I've seen the pictures. You did not look like a wet rat. Uh, thank you. You look like <laughs> Stephanie Cerno, who just finished to have a marathon. Whether you. you are running to work, going to school this morning, or driving, yeah, watch out for all the fog, the mist out there. Uh, this is 410, I believe. It's hard to see out there because uh, we have visibility at a quarter mile or less around most all of the area. Zero at Castroville, quarter mile at Hondo. Three quarters at Pleasanton and dense fog advisory remains in effect up until noon. Uh, the past few we've had have been expiring about 9, 10 o'clock in the morning, but this is going to be stubborn. This is going to be sticking around for a long time and uh, we have temperatures that are in the mid to upper 50s, so we are well above normal right now. And yes, it is going to get somewhat warmer this afternoon than what it was yesterday because we only stayed in the 50s yesterday. Got a lot more humidity out there as well, and that's what's helping out with all of this fog. Mold is on the high side. I would suspect it's going to remain high when the update account comes out later on this morning. And this morning, boy, keep an eye out. I mean, temperatures may fluctuate a couple of degrees here and there, and then 70 after school cloud skies, warmer temperatures, warmer than yesterday, and it's going to get progressively warmer as we go into the mid middle part of the week. Yes, not as warm by the end of the week, but still we're not looking at anything that's going to be screaming December as far as temperatures this week. Details coming up in just a couple of minutes. Steph, Mark.